Okay, so I don't know if you remember, you might have to go back to some of the first videos or at least the first video of the tour of the house, how the front yard looked. Uh, this is probably a midway progression through it. I'm gonna walk you through all the stuff that we did. You can kind of see where the yard is a bit tore up, but that really is where the yard was tilled with the tractor, um, preparing it for side, that left side, the side is pretty good. So we have Bermuda side coming next week and we'll be laying all the side. We'll get quite a bit of rain this week, so uh, can't really do it this week. You'll see in the trees where there was an absolute ton of leaves. All the leaves have been raked up and kind of moved to the back of the house, back of the property and, and dumped back there where the other leaves are on both sides. We're getting pine straw later this week, probably early next week um, in big, pretty big beds. So the majority of the yard is going to be pine straw and uh, a couple different um, large beds of pine bark so this area right here where this mound is is going to be a going to be a big area of pine bark with some shrubbery in it this area right here is going to be pine straw and then on the back side of it where you see some of the pine bark already is going to be another <coughs> flower bed with with shrubs in it Likewise, on this side, you'll see a lot of pine straw around these trees with a large bed over on this side of pine bark and shrubbery. There'll be grass here in the middle where you see the yard has been tilled, right? So there'll be a nice big strip down the middle, maybe a straight ahead view will help you kind of visualize where the grass will be. So this strip down the middle in between those two trees and then it fans out at the edge uh, across the road uh, well going in parallel with the road is where that will be and the rest will be pine bark and pine straw and shrubbery so now back to the front of the house uh, you'll see where we pulled up all the shrubs in the front all the old overgrowth in the front and you can see where we've put pine bark all along the house and where we plan to put the shrubs those aren't the final destinations for the shrub necessarily, but it's pretty close. Um, uh, you can see, well, you can't really see. There's a couple, there's gonna be two different and larger shrubs on the back side. And these are, let's see what these, what plants these are. These are uh, gardenias, jubilation gardenias. So they'll blossom, I think in the summertime in the late spring the rest of these shrubs are japanese box shrubs boxwood shrubs uh, so the ones on the very back under each window there'll be two uh, large gardenia plants once they grow so there'll be two four six you can see them along the bottom of the house and the rest of these are japanese boxwoods uh, still need to pressure wash so it's still a little messy over here but we're supposed to get like three four days of good rain so to wash a lot of this mud away here is going to be the golf cart path it looks a little rough right now only because it's not been refined i have to put the edging around it the metal edging that'll create a symmetrical um, pathway all the way down to the, the basement where the golf cart will be parked haven't bought the golf cart yet but if you can imagine with me that that uh, stripping for the side the guiding for the the rails um if you can imagine with me that it's straight and creates a formulated path down curved curved path down once we backfill it in with rocks it's going to look great uh, i still have a pile of rocks in the driveway to fill in the areas up to the edging but it's going to look pretty good uh, painting the rails on the porch um, today more than likely or at some point we also have new lighting for the front doors i consider repainting those lights but looking at the design of those lights they do look dated so i actually replaced them with some very modern black lantern style lights they look very very good i think you'll like them uh, as well as the light above the door uh, the paint door gets painted new uh, door hardware very nice door hardware and new doorbell system which is wireless <laughs> and it we got rid of the big um the monsters you rang style doorbell in the house got rid of that that wall is just going to be smooth and sheetrock and uh, the door because of the new doorbell will be wireless with a speaker 
in the kitchen. Uh, we do expect to paint the shutters. The shutters actually look like they're a charcoal gray color, which I kind of like that look and feel of it, but it's actually faded black. So we're right now torn as to whether we need to paint those black or paint them a charcoal gray or just don't touch them at all. Let me know what you think in the comments if you think the shutters are acceptable already or whether you want them painted or would like them either black, which black, which will have a extreme contrast to the house, or if you would like them repainted charcoal gray, which I think adds to the gray look. This lower part where you see some mud on the sides of the lower part, we're gonna try to pressure wash that first to see in the white parts. We try to pressure wash that to get that mud off uh, because the rest of the house we have discussed painting the house but i think it does have a fresh coat of paint on it as of the last couple of years few years so we're just going to focus on pressure washing the lower part if that doesn't come off and it still looks faded we're just going to paint from the white band down saves us a ton of time and energy so hope you like the progress let me know what you think about everything in the comment section and we'll looking forward to doing another video of the outside once it starts coming together maybe i'll do another video once the pine straw is down and the mulch is down and we get maybe two-thirds of the way i'll do a video and then i'll do a video when it's all complete so see you soon hey everybody another yard day today uh today is one of the days i wasn't looking forward to I'm looking forward to most days doing renovations and yard work and mostly housework, not, not yard work most of the time. But today is sod day. So I came out yesterday and I prepped the ground. I'll show you in a second how I prepped the ground. Uh, and then I'll show you my progress on the side. So this is the ground that I prepped uh, for the last couple days tilled it about a week and a half two weeks ago uh, and that was well, the work day with uh, I had a couple of people helping me uh, you can see where I had to have a new uh, high-speed internet line run because it's running in the middle of the yard and we hit it so this is the nice tilled raked soft uh, very pliable workable side looks pretty good I still have to do a little bit of you see some mounds I still have to do a little bit of raking over here to finish that off this side of the yard uh, was decent so I hope it grows pretty good and blends with the side that I'm putting down I'll, I'll overseed it so that we have uh, and sure to have some good growth but that's as big as the yard is I mean it's not very big I got seven pallets I put down one pallet already it looks pretty good um, looking pretty good that's one pallet took about 45 minutes to an hour uh, I still have six pallets to go uh, but not too bad so far still excited and encouraged but we will see how the day goes it's supposed to rain today uh, which helps the sod a lot because uh, you have to water it a ton when you first put it down uh, so but we have a sprinkler system so I'm not worried about it not getting watered enough so uh, so far, so good on everything, and uh, we're going to keep going and and get these pallets down. Hopefully, by the end of the day, I'll have another video for you. Here's your pallets. One, two, three. There's the one that's done. Four, five, six left. Three on the other side of the garage, one right there, and two right here. They put them as close as they could to where I was working which is good. So the first four will be a lot easier. Those will be the ones right on the yard. And then the other ones I'll have to wheelbarrow over, which I'm not excited about that, but hey, it's a part of it. Hopefully I end up with a couple pallets left and I can see if I can, uh, I can see if I can sell them or, or maybe even give them away. Hopefully not give them away because I think they're about six, five or $600, four hundred dollars a pallet. Yeah, I think they're like $400 a pallet. But, hey, if I don't need them, that's, that's a good thing. That's a good problem to have. So, hope to uh, have another video at the end of the day. So, I finally got to a pretty good point on the front yard. Uh, working on a lot of different stuff at the same time. 
primarily front yard, a lot of rooms on the inside of the house, the office, and the formal dining room. So I've gotten to a good place on all of those. Uh, I'll show a different video on the office, the formal dining room, and the two bedrooms. They look great, but the, well, I'm not 100% finished cause, because I still have to uh, put up the wall art and, and do a lot of the decor and buy a couple pieces of furniture. So I'll do that in a different video, but today is about the front yard. A lot of work over the past three three weeks, I think it's been, um, and uh, some help from, from my wife, Stacy, and from from some friends but uh it's been been a lot of work so i'm going to do a quick tour of your for at least the front yard this this whole yard thing has been just the front yard uh, this, there's really no sides but front and back mainly and the back is a whole different project i'm treating that as a separate project so uh, I'll, I'll be showing you the back here in the next month or so because that's going to be a, a huge huge job as well so here's the yard so here's the front yard now, 16 plus trees cut down. Uh, the sprinkler system's going quite well. Side, five and a half pallets of side had a pallet and a half left over. Um, I think I had, what is it, 140 bales of pine straw. I did two layers. I did one layer of 80 bales, but the the, the pine straw was not a very good grade of pine straw, so I had another contractor come out and do another 60 bales uh, of nice, long, golden long hair, I think it's called. And it looks fantastic. Just finished planting 30 bushes and uh, in different places along with pine bark. And it came out pretty good. I still have a couple things to do. The exterior lighting, the landscape lighting, the lights, on the front porch, uh, also the lights on the other side, on the garage side, but all in all, turned out pretty fantastic and I'm pleased with it, a lot of work, but uh, it turned out great. And I'll walk around, hey, hello, how you doing? Thank you. Um, so I still have a couple, couple things left to do. Uh, you can see kind of my rolls of, of shrubs in the um, pine bark area so there's some runs of pine bark you can see it all kind of separates so it's kind of like a living space where you section it off with a rug I did that essentially with the pine straw and the pine bark uh, you can kind of see where it separates I do still have one stump left my uh, tree cutters stump grinder messed up and he said he would come back and correct that grind that last stump that's been about three weeks ago and I haven't seen him. So I'm hoping he sticks to his word and comes back out there and comes back out and grinds that stump. But here's uh, some of the flower beds with the shrubs, all linear, just in a line. Uh, also along the house, you can see the uh, shrubs. I did the uh, gutter runoffs. The, when it rained it was running up against the sides of the house so kind of eroding the, the uh, lower part uh, of the house the foundation of the house or the basement goes uh, again the golf cart drive that goes around to the garage uh, to the basement I'm sorry where we st where we will store the golf cart once we get it also more drains over there on the end uh, on the porch we have some flowers you can see one of the shrubs was eaten by a deer. I guess that's how it, it goes, but still need to do the lights. I was gonna refurbish those lights, sand them and paint them, but I just started, decided to go with some nice, more modern lights and uh, replace those. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, get, get, have a new doorknob. I have all of those things already. It just, you know, it takes time to do them. We'll get the windows here in the next, Probably, I think mid-April, uh, the windows come in April 1st, but uh, we'll be going on vacation here pretty soon. And I can't wait so I can get some rest. And uh, the windows will be in about then, and then I'll schedule a date for them to come out, do the install. I still have to pressure wash the lower part of the house. Hopefully it comes clean. If it does not come clean, which I think it will, if it does not come clean, I'll do a paint match and uh, paint the white and then 
paint the gray on the lower part to match the upper part. And that's essentially the front yard. You know, the yard itself is finished on the front. All I have left is the, uh, the front side of the house is the landscape lighting. I guess the yard is not finished because I still have landscape lighting. So I'll put lights on the runs of the shrubs on each side along the front of the house. And also, I'll have the um, spotlight um, lights that wash up the house. So I have to do one more video of the front yard once the uh, landscape lighting is in. But that's essentially a quick look at the front yard.